Hey guys, it's Karina here. I hope you guys are all doing well and thank you for coming back this week for another video. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about sketchbooks and paper. I realize that I've done quite a few um, videos talking about the sketchbooks that I've recently finished, but I, there's some things that I use that I've never mentioned in any of my videos, so I thought today I'd do a, a little video here about some of the books that I use, why I use them, why I don't use them, um, that kind of thing. So let's talk about sketchbooks and paper. I don't know why I did this. Honestly, I don't. It's all good. Um, my first book that I want to get into right away is too big to even fit in my screen. This is an 11 by 16 moleskin. It opens up and it shows huge paper. It opens up to, well, Clearly, it's it's huge. It doesn't fit in, the, and I can't zoom out anymore. Uh, it's, so it's 11 by 11 by 16, and it's just like a regular moleskin journal. Unfortunately, I can't show you the entire thing because it won't fit. Very smooth paper and um, very nice to draw on um, to a certain extent. Uh, but I stopped using it um, for the simple fact is when you erase the yellow pigment in the paper disappears with it, so you're left with white and yellow on your paper. I'll just show you here real quick. This is a piece that I'm working on for a future video, and I just have to cover her up because she's not covered up. Let's see if we can't focus here. But you can see that, let's try to focus. Why well, I don't understand why my camera doesn't like to focus. Um, probably because of the the light here, but you can see there's there's white and then there's yellow. I know it's a bit of a, a bad example, but it, that, that's all I have to show for it because like I said, I've stopped using the, the paper. You can see a little bit better like that. But anyhow, you erase and I erase a lot because I make a lot of mistakes. I'm covering up her chest area because she looks like she's not wearing a shirt and I don't know, maybe somebody will find that offensive, but anyhow, that's this journal or sketchbook or what have you here, and like I said, uh, it, it used to have a string on the back right here, but my cat chewed off. Yeah, she chewed it off. So I'm just going to put that one to one side here, and uh, let's go through some of the smaller uh, books and smaller pads of paper that I have that actually fit in the screen here. So I'm going to start off with this. I just recently did a review um, for this book, not too long ago actually, and I haven't used it. I'm writing in it, and of course, there goes my cell phone while I'm trying to record a video here. I'm just using this book to write in because the paper is absolute crap. Um, I don't like it at all. I've tried to draw a few pictures in it, and you can still see that there's some... Um, leftovers back here from when I did the review, but I don't like it, so I've been using it as a notepad, ripping pages out when I feel like it, um, that kind of thing. Uh, this one is five and a half by eight and a half inches, 50 pound paper. What? You, it's like printer paper. Well, it's it says it's a little bit heavier than printer paper, but really my printer paper is thicker than this. Um, it's okay if you just want to get a little bit of practice in and you don't care, but I didn't like it that much. Um, like I said, it, it depends on what you want to have it for, but this will not be in my go-to stash for sketching paper. The next book that I have is this Copic uh, sketchbook. They call it a sketchbook. It's marker paper and it's fairly new. And I got this when I was on holidays this summer, I think it was. And I bought it in Winnipeg at the Artist Emporium. Great store if you're local and you want a good art store to go shop at, not affiliated at all. But they are a very, a really good art store. Um, they are located in Winnipeg again. Um, that's where I get most of my stuff from if it's not from Amazon. Anyhow, um, this is by Imagination International. They sent me some stuff a while back. They did not send me this. This is paid out of my own money. I paid about $11 um, for this little sketchbook here and I absolutely love it. I love it. Um, it. It clearly doesn't compare to the Express Blend that 
curb for when it comes to markers, but the paper in here is very smooth. It's 70 pound marker paper. If, clearly there's not enough, there's not that many in there now because I've ripped a few out because I am the type of person where if I don't like something, out it goes and I'm really working hard on not doing that because you know, it's always great to keep your papers around or your, your drawings and whatnot so you can see the progression. But just to give you an example here, I won't go through every page. I'm still learning to do Copics here and um, as you can see there's a, there's a bit of smudginess from the marker but that's my fault. That's not the paper at all. It's just me trying to learn. Uh, let's see if I can go down here. Um, I'll show this one here because she was a video on my channel already and again there's some smudging. I clearly need to wait a little bit longer before I go over the Copic Multi Liner. And I'll show this one here as well. So this is the kind of effect, I even used a bit of watercolor paint on here, this is a fine tech paint and it didn't even really buckle the paper at all. I mean if you were using a lot of water of course you would get some buckling but um, it's really not that bad. That's as far as I'm going to go in this book because um, there's some things in there that I haven't even made a video on and uh, if you want to see more of my daily sketches and, and things like that pop over to my Instagram account which I'll link down below. So this, this, I highly recommend this book if you're able to get it. All right. The next book I have is my Pentalic Traveler's uh, sketchbook, I guess. This book still has the elastic intact. The cat has not chewed this one apart. And I've already did a flip through of everything that's in this book so far this year. I've done a couple of things. I've been mostly cutting out the pages and uh, so I can use it as to transfer on watercolor paper or to transfer onto a different kind of paper altogether. It seems very dark here all of a sudden. Um, so what I wanted to say about this, like, when I made the video about using this book, I still would recommend this, this sketchbook or journal to just about anybody. Um, you can't use a lot of watercolor in it um, and it's about the size of a moleskin, maybe slightly a little bit bigger. Let's see, this is the next one. So it's about five and a half by eight inches, give or take. Um, the paper is very smooth. It is white paper. If you erase, you don't get that odd looking color um, discoloration. Very nice. I recommend this journal, um, the sketchbook to anyone really. It is a very nice book. Um, I got this one off of Amazon and I started it February of last year and I still, I still don't have it finished gonna run out of room here to put things in a second. Okay, so the next one, this one, I absolutely love this Canson book. I absolutely love it. It does say it's mixed media, but it has um, the 138 pound paper, so it is almost exactly like watercolor paper. We have a, there we go, let's try that. I'm blinding myself to be able to not blind my viewers, so yeah. I'm not going to be able to see. I have one of those really big lamps where uh, it's the Cowboy Studio one with the big like honk and light bulb in it and right now it's blinding me. Anyway, I'm sure you don't want to know that, but this is my mixed media sketchbook. I just basically use it for watercolor. I don't use anything else in it. I don't do acrylics or anything anymore. And um, so this one has 30 pages in it. Probably not anymore though. And well, I've just started it, so I don't think I've torn out anything. So it's five and a half by eight and a half inches. It kind of seems like that's the size of paper that I really enjoy working on except for my watercolor pieces lately. But it has this little um, information thing right here and then it has the inside cover and this is one of my stickers that I've just recently added to Redbubble. This is not from Redbubble. I printed this out and pasted it on myself just to see what it would look like in a print um, or as a sticker and I kind of like it. It's really nice. So if you want to check on that to see if you'd like to have one for yourself. It's on, Red, on my Redbubble shop and the links are also down in the description. I have to let you know if you hear a lot of running around in the background. I have a dog here who's um, hyped up all the time and she just needs to run so you'll probably hear her clicking around the floor. And the heater is on in the background too because it's minus 40 here and that's Celsius people. It's minus 40 Celsius. It's horrible. Horrible. Um, so these are, I can show these because I've you know, had these on my channel already, and this one, um, I 
I haven't shown anything else and I have a video in here as well so I won't go any further. No I don't. I have a little um, a, an armadillo that I can show. I'm kind of getting into painting animals lately and uh, so this is a little little armadillo and uh, these are a couple other things that I've tried. I know my pig looks really husky and butch in, in the chest area, but I think she's still, I'm, I'm gonna call her she. Um, I think she still looks pretty good and I absolutely love this goat down here. So, and there's a little uh, toucan or finch. I think it's gonna be a finch. I don't know what it is that I tried to paint. But anyhow, uh, this paper has a little bit of a texture to it and it's, it's really almost the same as watercolor paper. It does have a tooth, it's perforated, and I absolutely love this kind of book and unfortunately the only place I can get it is Michael's and I live nowhere near Michael's so maybe um, when I move in a few months I could stop at a Michael's along the way provided I can find one and uh, I can buy a few of these books to take with me because they would cost $44 for me to buy on the Canadian Amazon yeah you heard it $44 this one here is 10 bucks at Michael's so maybe I can try to get a coupon or something or um, yeah, we'll see. Anyhow, on to the next one. This one here is somewhat of a favorite, but a least favorite kind of thing. It's a seven by 10 inch book and it's 98 pound paper and it's good for like watercolors, acrylics and pens and pencils and what have you. But I find the paper is very, very thin and it really shouldn't be used as mixed media. Um, I have a cat that's out in the kitchen banging on a cupboard door trying to get it open. I tell you this house, it, it, there's not a quiet moment here at all so please forgive all the noise in the background. I'm not sure if you can hear that or not. <laughs> Okay, funny story, I just had to stop and go and get my cat out of the bottom of the cupboard. She ended up opening the door and got herself stuck in there. So I just had to go and rescue the cat out of the bottom of the cupboards. Gladly, th there's nothing in there because we're packing to move. So, I mean, she was just in a dark spot for a little bit, but she's a pest, she's a big pest. Anyway, on to this. Um, I said that I like drawing in it, but I didn't like drawing in it. I didn't like to use watercolor and everything. So I think, um, um, I got this at Walmart. For whatever reason, the Walmart here in town this past, say, six months have decided to sell Canson products. Never before here in Canada have I ever seen Walmart sell Canson products. Uh, this one, this book was $9, give or take a few cents, Canadian. And um, I've been using it to sketch some animals and, and whatnot in there. And this is a page that I did from a live stream that I did. And, uh... Let's see, and I've got some flamingos. I know they're supposed to be different colors on the beaks there, but it is what it is for now. And this is a page that I did for a sketch with me video, but my SD card got wiped out, so there will be no video on this. And I can't go any further than that because I have some other stuff in there that's not recorded for a video yet, or like it's not edited. Uh, so here you can see what happens when you use watercolor on it? The if you don't I mean if you don't mind the crinkling in the paper, it's really fine. Like I don't mind it, and I usually don't draw on both sides of the paper either, because even if I'm using graphite, I don't like it when it smudges over one another. And I know it's not like a really you know messy sketchbook, but I just like to be able to keep my sketchbooks as neat as I can. This cat didn't turn out the greatest. She's a little bit. She's a little bit small. She should be a little, a little bit wider. That's the only way that I can describe it. But isn't the sloth the cutest thing? I absolutely adore sloths. I don't know how many other sloth lovers there are out there, but if you if you like these guys, please let me know. They're awesome. Love sloths and seals and bunnies. I like all animals. I'm an animal lover. Anyway, uh, this is this one. Like I said, is a favorite, but not a, but not a favorite kind of thing. Uh, let's see here. So the next one that I have, just got a couple more. Um, this is a watercolor 
XL Handsome Book. For the life of me, I can't find these anywhere here in Canada other than Michael's. Um, Walmart doesn't sell these. The art store that I go to doesn't sell Canson products. Um, this one was bought online, I'm pretty sure, or I, I might have got it at a Michael's. Uh, so this is the only sketchbook that I've ever filled up in an entire year before. So I, I want to give myself a pat on the back for that. But this one here is a 7 inches by 10 inches, 140 pound, cold pressed, watercolor paper. And I love it. I love it. I love working on this paper. I have used some markers in here as well. Um, it's really not that... Um, it's really not that good for Copics, even though I've used Copics on here because it just saps up your your ink quite a bit. But it's great for watercolors. Um, so I've also have a video of a flip through for this book on my channel here as well, if you want to check it out. But I absolutely love this paper. It it feels like a watercolor paper. It's not that toothy. It does have a little bit of a grain to it, but it's not horribly toothy like some cold press papers and that's what I really enjoy. I like the smoother type papers for working on but when it comes to watercolor I like to have that little bit of a tooth to it. But that's some of the things that I've done in this book and one of my pages is actually gone because I sold a painting from it here so that's this book but I would recommend this this type of book to anyone that uses watercolors. It is really really nice. And so the next thing I have are these Canson watercolor art boards. I am not sponsored by Canson, by the way. It would be amazing if I were, but I'm not. I just absolutely love Canson products. Um, this one here, it's very, very thick. So there's 10 boards in a pack. And originally the price would have been $27.39, but I didn't pay that for it because I have a 40% discount at the place where I got this. And um, and I mean like a 40% discount all the time, not just when they have a sale. Uh, so basically it's a cold press board. It's very thick, almost like a canvas. You can hear it like a cardboard type thing. Uh, it has a, a tiny, tiny bit of tooth, and I probably shouldn't be touching it this much. It has a tiny bit of tooth to it, and um, this thing can take anything. It says watercolor, but I've painted with acrylic on there way back when, gouache, ink, um, watercolor, pencil, any you name it. This is great for that. It's very thick, and it, this one's an eight and a half by ten inches. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be really disappointed if I can't find this when I move because I like it a lot. So, uh, and it comes bound on one side as well, so you can just use it in a block if you want. And it's kind of, it's glued in down there. So this is the Canson Watercolor Art Board by Plen, Plen Air, Plein Air, I don't know how to, whatever. This is another one that I use. Okay, I've got a couple of more and then we're all done. So I have this Canson Mixed Media Art Board. Oh, and there is my picture that I did. I actually sold this painting. So I'm gonna put that off to the side there. But this here is pretty much the same as the other art boards that I have. And I tried to use a couple of these. Uh, there's a few missing out of the pack here, but um, I didn't get very far with it. I think I just messed up on the paintings that I was doing, but definitely want to get into using these a little bit more. Again, these here were $25.69. Um, that's not with um, my discount, clearly. So these uh, are 9 by 12 and like there's no um, 90 pound or 100 pound or whatever, what have you on here. It's just, it's it's like a thick cardboard like the other one. You can hear it there. And I think these are great. If you don't want to paint on paper, you want something thicker to paint on but don't want to use canvas, these are awesome. Okay, the last Canson product that I have <laughs> is this massive book. And I have some of my paintings kept inside here. 
because I don't have anywhere else to put them right now. I absolutely love this paper. It is the same paper that's in the spiral watercolor book that I have and because I couldn't find any of those books here I went and I got some of this watercolor paper at Walmart. This one was about $15 I believe and it's a 140 pound paper. Yeah there's no price tag on there and the best thing with buying the the bigger size paper is you can always cut it up in smaller pieces um, if you wanted to do something smaller but I really Really enjoy this paper. The last paper that I do have is one that I do not like anymore. Uh, that would be the Strathmore watercolor paper. This paper is very toothy and I don't like it anymore. Um, after I got into using the Canson products and realized that you could have a cold pressed paper but it wasn't as toothy as this, then I kind of went over to the Canson products and I stopped buying Strathmore. I'm very sorry, very, very sorry Strathmore lovers, but I don't like this paper. It's crap. Um, I shouldn't say it's crap, I guess. It's okay for maybe a beginner or kids or, just messing around, making swatches and stuff like that. But I wouldn't paint anything on this paper um, that was for a good cause. Um, I, just, I just don't like it anymore. I mean, it's nice and thick and it's nice and sturdy, um, but it's just, uh, it's too rough for my liking. Um, the, the paper is too rough. So that's pretty much it. I got this, uh, I think on Amazon and they were like eight or $9 a pack. Well, they could have come from Curry's as well. I shop at that art store. But this video, uh, you know, it's it's getting long enough. And that's pretty much all the paper and all the sketchbooks and everything that I use right now. I also do have, I should say, a watercolor um, moleskin. But it has been packed away. Um, it's, uh, it's kind of tucked away in a bin that needs to get uh, either sent or coming along with us on, on our moving trip here. Uh, so maybe once I get uh, into... Um, you know, settled away. I can go through things a little bit better and show you some more stuff. But I will also have a video coming out about uh, some of the um, mediums that I like to use and why I like them and why I don't and, and whatnot. So you can keep an eye out for that. As always, um, you can check out my Redbubble shop and I have Instagram and all the other social links are down in the description below. And if you have a paper that you like that I haven't mentioned here today because most of my stuff has been Canson products, um, let me know and make Maybe um, if I hit up an art store along the way on my trip this summer or on my move this summer uh, that I can maybe pick it up and try it out for myself. So that's pretty much it for today. Um, I hope you don't mind the little bit of a longer video here. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.